tow truck drivers. When you're stuck, you call them, they show up. Tonight, they're asking for some help in return. News 5's Brianna Hollis investigates the dangers they face on a daily basis. Prime example right here. They respond to emergencies. You break down on the side of the road, we're here. They're inches away from danger. Their cars have flashing lights. But when they're in action, they say they're not treated like first responders. They don't recognize a tow truck as an emergency vehicle. And it's the law that says that. A tow truck, often legally defined as a wrecker, is on the same level as police cars and fire trucks per the Alabama State Code. But off paper, tow truck drivers tell us they typically don't get that respect. It comes by you running 85 miles an hour. Almost takes your, you know, sucks your shirt off with the wind coming by. Sims Towing set up a mock response for us so we could see these close calls for ourselves. All right, I'm gonna get the other side. The scary side, next to traffic. Now, we weren't allowed to cross to the other side of the tow truck for safety reasons, but you can see here how close those cars on the causeway get to Williamson. And you get an even better look at how close they get in the video from his angle. He says he thinks people just don't know they're supposed to give him more space. Like this van right here. It's supposed to get over. Wait for it. And he really hopes this starts to change. I'd just like to see everybody make it home to their kids at the end of the day. Now, if you think that video on the causeway was scary, tow truck drivers say it's actually even worse on the bayway because it's tighter up there and drivers are even less likely to move over. Reporting live in Spanish for tonight, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.